Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Last Castle Guardians. So this is like a, a, a it's a game that combines tower defense with bullet hell and roguelike elements and things like that. There's going to be a few other things that we'll kind of see as we get into it. There's also this upgrade tab so you can see like permanent upgrades. I already have a little bit of experience because I've tried to, I tried to record this game already once and it kind of just crashed um and my cursor also disappeared which was not great um like obviously with here it's like you don't need your cursor but there's points in the game that you need your cursor to be able to click on things and my cursor just vanished so and then the game crashed and so the, so this game has a few bugs um but it's a very new game. It's uh, at the time of me recording it. It's it's actually not out yet. Um, I got uh, a key to the beta testing for the game, so uh, I'll be post. This video will actually be uh, being posted on um, the day that the game is released. But yeah, so you have these guys that have like range um, and they attack and stuff like that. Okay, this is the oh, uh, this is the part that I talked about, that I was mentioning, where my cursor has disappeared. And I, okay, there we oh, and my cursor's still gone. Okay, this happened last time. Still not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get my cursor back. Hopefully, it'll just come back at the end of this. Um, I'm assuming that one's like an axe thrower. I guess we'll find out. Yep, like an axe thrower type thing. Oh. These guys are getting a little close to the castle. So yep, we just have to defend this castle. It's got 10 health, as you can see at the top. Um. Okay, it doesn't look like the knights can die. Which is going to be nice. So we can just kind of stack up. Stack up. Oh. Okay, and we got him just in time, right before he hit the hit the castle. So that's that's obviously good. Uh, monsters can drop loot, like extra gold, XP, and something else. I didn't quite get to see what it said. Plus one damage to. We'll go with uh, armor. So it seems like, yeah, they can't be, like, too close to the castle. But we'll just kind of do something like that, I think, and it, it should be fine. They can kind of help defend. Um, they'll, they'll have a big range to be able to help defend. So I'm going to try to kind of stick around the castle and just kind of attack any stragglers that get by the Im immediate defenses. Um, these guys are actually a lot tankier. They take three shots instead of the normal just one. Let me get that XP. And yeah, you just move around. Uh, your character will automatically attack. Now the attack is quite slow, but you know, it's, it is what it is. And then obviously, yeah, you have those guys. I don't, uh, the axe throwers, they have um, obviously larger range. They do more attack damage, um, but their attack speed is technically, I guess you could say, slower than the knight, just because the knight, um, you know, has to, it can only, it has blades that circle around it instead of like an actual projectile weapon that it shoots out or that it throws out. But yeah, it's, it's just mainly the attack speed that is the, uh, or the attack range, I should say. That's the problem. Go damage to health. Um. Let's put some more of these guys around. I guess we could have, like, some more of these guys just kind of placed, uh, placed around. Um, now, does it only... Okay, if I upgrade that, right? Oh, I did it again. 
Oh no. Okay, we'll do that, do that, do do that. Does it only upgrade for him or does it upgrade for other okay. Only upgrades for him, okay. Click to upgrade. Ah, okay. Okay. I wish I would upgrade for like all of if you like want to put upgrades on like a certain type of tower. I wish it was more like that rather than individual towers. But maybe that would be too strong. I have no idea. I feel like with how much gold you make, I don't really feel like it's too much. To, like, I don't think it would make it too strong. Um, especially with the fact that towers get more and more expensive the more you put down. So I feel like upgrading all of them, being able to like upgrade all of them um, would be nice. Just, you know, upgrading certain types of towers rather than individual towers. I feel like that would be really nice. But that's just my my personal opinion on the matter. Others might have a different opinion. Let me know. Yeah, I mean, I guess just let me know in the comments. Just in the case that the developer of the game does actually see this. Um, you know, obviously I imagine they would... Would love to hear feedback from anyone who's you know first time seeing this game and kind of what you guys think about it and how and what your guys's feelings are on this game yeah that guy's definitely hitting the castle there wasn't really any way of stopping him he's got so much health Um, I also feel like the castle hitbox is a lot smaller than it looks. So, I don't know. That's just kind of my immediate... Okay. Okay, so you left click and then right click to go off. Okay. We'll like, we'll do this. Upgrade these guys. I mean, we're getting a lot more gold now, so... Upgrading individually, I guess, isn't that big of a problem at this point. I don't know. I wish you could also maybe, like, increase the attack speed. Maybe that would be something to consider having something to increase attack speed yeah, I mean once the once those guys lose the lose the armor or shield or whatever it's supposed to be then they do die fairly quickly to like the axe throwers So, at least there's that. Um, we'll see. We'll see how things go, I guess. So, yeah, this, this time around has been a little bit easier, I would say. I mean, we're obviously not out of the park yet, but so far things are going okay. Could be worse, could be worse. Yeah, I think I just need to be able to deal as much damage as possible um, for now. Um, because right now there's enemies, like the enemies that are getting by are the ones that have a lot of HP. Um, so... And since obviously, since all enemies, right, have HP, not all enemies have shield, I feel like it is better to focus on dealing damage to their health rather than just dealing damage to 
armor. Because like I said, everything has HP. So HP modifiers are going to benefit when dealing with all enemies rather than just a few enemies. Obviously, if you have a unit that has more more armor or whatever than HP, then those upgrades would become a little bit less useful, uh, especially against guys like this that have a ton of armor. Um, we're going to go with that, though. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, now it's like guys with armor are a bit more of a concern. I don't know. I mean, I could... I could put in, like, more axe throwers, right? Can't have them, like, too close to other towers. Because otherwise it just doesn't let you place them. I don't know why, but this music is like reminding me of the of the Kahoot, of Kahoot music. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just kind of reminding me of that. Yeah. So now they're doing quite a bit of damage. Um. I'm thinking maybe go for the guys with um with the with the circling swords. I'm thinking maybe for those guys I could put um I could have them go for the shield. Have them kind of focus more on dealing shield damage. And kind of have them more like be more on the outer edge. Either that, or just have more shield throwers focus on... Mm, I don't know. Because, per personally, I'd rather have it the other way around. But... The axe throwers... Are kind of... Carrying, for in terms of every type of enemy. Like, right now, axe throwers are, are just doing good on everything rather than just on one specific type type of thing, so... But obviously, having towers kind of be more focused on certain types of things would actually end up being better for me, it, it like, later on in the game. But, I don't know if I'm really going to be able to pull that off here. But we will see, I guess. Nice. Yeah, see, I could do additional damage to armor. I don't... Is that considered a shield? I don't... I wouldn't imagine it's considered a shield. Ah, and you can have different targeting priorities as well. Okay. Oh my gosh, I keep pressing that button. I'm actually... I'm gonna lose it. Um... So, we could have, like, some axe throwers around. Where is my cursor? There we go. That focus more on dealing with like the armor. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to. Come on. Where's my cursor? Come on. There we go. Most armor. And we'll have it on, let me make sure that it, okay. 
And we'll do it on that. And then we could have like another guy. Be like, let's see, where, where's his range at? We could do like that and then have this guy. Focus on armor as well. Okay. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Oh my gosh, I would love to see my cursor right now. I've never wanted my wanted to see my cursor so badly before. Please, just let me see my cursor. Please, game. Please. Game. I really- I ho really hope I'm not looking stupid right now. And, like, it's being picked up in my- Like, in my, um... On OBS. But then, like, obviously for me, it's like I can't see my cursor. But, like, for whatever reason, it's, like, being picked up on OBS. That would be hilarious if that was actually the case. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, okay. So now it should focus. Yeah, there we go. Now it focuses more on the armor. And it should start now focusing on units with, with more armor. And hopefully that will kind of help out a little bit with the other guys when it comes to dealing with uh, high armor, high health, or I guess mainly just high armor, maybe low health enemies. Because obviously if they have a lot of armor, then it's a bit harder to deal with them. Because, like I said, our guys do focus mainly on dealing with uh, health right now. So, yeah, those guys with, like, the little knives are definitely a bit worrisome sometimes. But there we go. Able to, for the most part, make quick work of them. Now that we have guys that focus on armor. So, things are going, things are going better. Obviously on the side where there's not as much armor penetration, um, then it's a little bit more worrisome and guys get a little bit further. Like the guys with armor get a little bit further, but for the most part, it's not too bad. Things are going well. Ooh, these guys are not looking good right now, I'm going to be completely honest. I have some pretty major concerns. Oh, and there's a lot of them as well. A lot more than I thought there would be. Oh my gosh. Go for more damage to health, okay. Focus on armor. Okay, I keep wanting to hit escape, but I do know that it will come back to screw me over if I press escape. So we're just gonna keep trying to do what I'm doing and hope for the best. So yeah, things are going things are going well. Things are going well. I mean obviously they could be better. But I'm pretty happy with how things are going for now. Getting some more axe throwers. 
that deal damage more damage to armor so we're dealing with those guys a little bit better well I guess kind of see how far I get I probably won't get super far because I only have like you know okay there we go we got another heart okay that's good that's good Definitely have to get some upgrades after this. But yeah, I mean, everything for the time being is is going okay. I'm happy with it. Uh, if those, like, big night guys come out, then I'm gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna be quite quite a bit more worried. Wave 10, if we make it there, probably I'm expecting there to be some sort of boss. Not saying that there will be, but traditionally, you know, on wave, you know, 10s and stuff and like in video games, anyone who's ever played a video game knows that like if there's a boss, usually comes around, you know, they usually have like wave 10 or wave 20 or whatever, you know, waves that end with a zero. They usually have big enemies, maybe not exactly bosses, but... Oh, okay, these guys are actually getting very far, which has me extremely worried. Yeah, give me that health, okay. Okay, I mean... After we started kind of initially losing, we kind of made a comeback a little bit. And I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. As long as we can kind of keep it up, I think we'll be okay, but I don't... Okay, I'm, I'm starting to realize I don't think we're going to be able to keep it up. Okay, no, we're... Whoa, no, we're getting overwhelmed. Okay, we've survived until wave 8, which I'm happy with. Okay, we got 1,940 XP. Um, go for more, ad for additional range. Um, additional base damage. Chance to... What does that say? To freeze enemy? Okay. Then we have knights. Place mines in its range. Okay, and we have... Okay, so we have a bunch of those things. The And then these are permanent upgrades. So these are all different characters that we can unlock. And then these are permanent upgrades. So that says it costs 25... Wait, so I have 1,915 XP. Um... Yeah, can't I just, like, buy all of these... Because I have a lot... Yeah. Um, I have a feeling you're not supposed to get this much experience. That feels... I mean, that just feels like a little bit too much experience to have right now. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, my, the player character is... Oh my gosh, my guy's going to be really fast. Um, well, I mean, it seems like we can basically just buy everything, right? Because... I mean, we have so much experience. Probably not everything, but... To all enemies with its range with electricity, shoots an exploding fireball. Yeah, I mean, that guy seems pretty good. Okay, at least I, I was I was just curious... If it would um, stop us from continuously upgrading. Or if it was glitched and it would just let you keep upgrading even without the necessary experience. But at least they got that. They did They did well on that. Okay. Well, anyways. This game um, definitely has a lot of, like... It definitely has a lot of... Um, why can't I think of the word right now? It has a, a lot of promise. Um, there, it, I honestly do expect this game to do extremely well, uh, especially on its release, because it is a fun game. Um, 
And there's definitely a lot of, like, different ways that they could go with this game. And obviously you have the, these upgrades here. It reminds me a lot of, uh, I think it's Rogue Tower. Um, I believe that's the name of the game. It, I mean, it looks very similar. Like, this part here definitely looks very similar to Rogue Tower. Um, if the creators of this game, if the developers don't know of Rogue Tower... And then I would highly recommend they check out Rogue Tower, kind of look at it and maybe take some inspiration from that. Obviously, this is a different game um, entirely, uh, but it is, you know, it's got roguelike aspect or roguelike, roguelite aspects to it. It's a tower defense. Obviously, this is different where you have a character and you're actually putting down other characters that will defend and kill enemies and, you know, zombies. But you know it's it like i said it, it just it's very similar that it and this up here this up here i would find it hard to believe if they haven't already seen rogue tower just based on how things are looking in this game but it could just be a coincidence that they have like similar um similar aspects to it but yeah anyways my name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Last Castle Guardians. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.